My dearest Mary, I hope this letter finds you well. The reports of the damage along the waterfront are not exaggerated, and I fear today that hope to secure reconstruction funds are pale. My hope is to meet tomorrow with Mr. Harrington's son to make arrangements for immediate aid. His father was a fair man whom I engaged with in many transactions in the past. I can only hope that with the help of Mr. Harrington and his business partners, we will be able to repair the damaged ports. I have secured lodging in Mr. Harrington's hotel, and it is from this hotel's lobby that I am now writing. My beloved, I wish only that your eyes could view what mine are now seeing, for this hotel is of great grandeur. If I were to be told that I was sitting off on some faraway European resort, I could not contest for what my eyes now see, for the decor reflects such elegance that the mind can easily conjure visions of Italy or France. The ceilings are very high and trimmed with gold acanthus. Never before have I seen such furnishings with the most modern of pattern and design. The room is aglow with a mix of lamp and the newest contraption thought by Edison himself. There is a lush Persian rug that runs throughout the entire lobby area that appears to be taken from a palace from one of France's night stories. When all matters of business are completed, I will find time to return with you along my side. Till my return to you, know my love is always true. Your beloved William, November 16, 1913.